Hey guys, I'm Shad Knight Paladin and welcome back to my channel. Today it's another Tales of 69 Minutes stream, but this time it's not something new. This actually was the very first Tales of 69 Minutes challenge stream that I did, and this was on day 2 with the theme of your favorite female protagonist in the entire franchise. And I chose Tear Grants from Tales of the Abyss because at that time, Abyss was the only game that I finished from start to end, and I don't think this theory had even come out at this point yet. Also, since it was recorded in like on day 2, I haven't really gotten into the groove yet of how to handle a time drawing challenge. So I would spend some time on things that I didn't or shouldn't have spent so much time on, and the coloring would still be pretty crap. But it's just interesting to see how I handled this um, challenge in day 2 against now that's like, I don't know, maybe day 100 plus. I didn't keep track anymore since I did stop for a while. So let's start with the things that I spent too much time on. That being the sketch, I put too much details into it, and I put too much time into the lines. My original thought process here was that I wanted to make my lines close and refined as possible so that when I get to the coloring stage, I could just tap most of the things with the magic wand tool. Later on, I would learn that it was a better idea that I focus more on coloring over the lines, and that's what I kind of do more or less now. And since this was recorded back in 2015, as of recording, it's already been like two months since two months past the one year anniversary of this drawing. The coloring style, the line work, the sketch work is a bit different, even though the outcome looks a bit similar. The way that I handle the program or digital painting in general is a little, is a little bit different. So I didn't really choose Tear just because it was the only game that I played in the entire franchise, but I really did like her character. Even though she's relegated to the usual healer role, I felt that she did play a good part in Luke's personality character development. And even though there's some romantic hints, but she wasn't just about romance. In my eyes at least when I played the game, I felt like she was a very... Just a character that you would like not just because your main character liked her. So if Guy was my favorite male protagonist, I would or side protagonist, I would say that Tyr was my, and is my favorite female protagonist. So here I was I was spending too much time on building up the shadows even though it didn't really build up in the end, did it? Again, day two. First time I did this kind of thing. I usually don't time myself when I draw because I didn't. I felt like I didn't need that pre extra pressure. And this forced me to. Actually, this challenge really helped me a bit. It kind of forced me to reevaluate what things are important when you're drawing, even in your normal process. Back then, I would put a lot of work into the sketch to make it easier for me to line. But this challenge actually helped me streamline my entire drawing process. And that's actually what, in, in, in art schools, in drawing schools, in traditional art schools, even though I didn't really go to a traditional art school, um, in your drawing class, sometimes you, have, you would have these really timed, fast, quick, gestural type drawings. And it's supposed to help you to get basic figure down, um, how the body flows, just to get the essence of the thing. And I think that's what this challenge kind of did to me as well. But not just for um, motion and gesture, but for your entire drawing process. So actually, I'd suggest giving something like this a shot. You don't need to do tails, of course. But challenging yourself to do a drawing in a limited span of time every day actually it just took me like 
a month of doing this before I change how I do things. And it would help, I think. Especially if you feel it, like you take too long when drawing. Actually, I feel at the time, my friend told me I do very fast, but... It would really help evaluate some things. It would help put uh, importance on certain things into focus. It would help making you realize that there are some portions that you might neglect. Like with this, I realized that I neglect coloring too much. And I don't really put too much importance into lights and shadows. And eventually, you'll see in... As maybe if, you, if you've seen my... If you've watched my more recent streams and speed paints of 69 minutes, you'd see that I, I actually tried to put more... Or equal, at least some equal balance between coloring and lining now. It's a bit scary, yes. Admittedly, I never thought I could finish anything in 69 minutes, but it's a challenge and a risk that you might want to take since, I mean, life is, life is full of challenges and you really can't do anything if you live an, an unchallenged life. Challenge yourself. You can do it. You'll fail? Yes. I've failed so many times, but it doesn't mean that the entire process was, was worthless or anything like that. Damn, philosophy. <laughs> Didn't expect to go that deep on a fan art speed paint. So we are actually nearing the end of the stream. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you noticed that maybe you learned something from this. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing with this. But yes, I hope you enjoyed. I, I think I enjoyed. I actually enjoyed recording this and recording over an old live stream. It made me realize a lot of things about my drawing style then and now. And it's just fun to be honest. So again. Maybe subscribe if you like this entire thing. Uh, I promise I won't go too deep into painful things you don't want to dig up, but uh, I don't go into it often at least. But Subscribe, maybe. Yeah, leave a like, maybe too, if you wanna. And 
follow me on DeviantArt, Instagram, and Tumblr. And see you around.